Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh so basically this video is on Mac OS Catalina and is it safe enough for a Hackintosher to upgrade to Mac OS Catalina or for a Mac book or Mac Pro user to upgrade to Catalina so Catalina is quite new and quite buggy yet so I will not recommend you to move to a Mac OS Catalina right away until all the bugs are fixed there are a couple of different features I really loved in Mac OS Catalina and I would definitely recommend you but after the system get stable enough. I have seen quite bugs especially in Safari and third party application. So it is very important that you upgrade and you know that everything you gonna use on Mac OS Catalina is fully stable. Also there is no 32 bit support for your uh, application so if you use 32-bit application it is really not recommended to boot into Mac OS Catalina yet until there is an emulator or the developers give you the 64-bit applications and now back for those who are using Hackintosh and really want to get Catalina on their Hackintoshes there are a few steps which you have to follow which I will tell you in this video and then you can get your Mac OS Catalina booted up stable and fully working also another video on iMessages and FaceTime is being prepared so stay tuned for that as well and it will be uploaded soon so let's go to screen and see what steps do you really need to boot into Mac OS Catalina on a Hackintosh or a Macintosh system so in the start the steps are same for both Hackintosh and the Macintoshers Mac users so the first step is open the App Store and you'll probably have a different App Store and you right here Captain okay and then you press get and it will take a second I think okay so it's on the other side we'll take it to the main area okay and it's saying okay so uh oh okay so I already have Catalina downloaded so it came up with this instead of showing me to download the macOS Catalina after your downloading is complete you have to basically close the Catalina and you have to go to your system preferences and do a time machine backup it is really important that you have a time machine backup for your system if you want to move to macOS Catalina and then after that you just go back you sell you go here and you search Catalina and you press enter you close the app store you select next agree agree and from here you you have to choose your main drive my main drive name is OS X and then you press install continue then you have to enter password and that's all for those who are on Macintoshes and then they only need a restart and system will work but those who are using a Hackintosh there are a few steps they have to take so they have to open the clever configurator so once the EFI is mounted, then you have to go here and you have to click the config.plst. Once the PLST is open, you have to go to the boot section and here you have to add an argument which is minus V. Make sure the timeout is at least three seconds. So in, in case you have an automatic boot up, you get a few times to see where the Mac OS is booting. Other thing is that you have to go to the Kex installer, go to other, make sure you have all of these Kex which I have installed. I will also add a link in the description below from it. from there you can get these if you don't have an uh, internet connection on your Hackintosh then you can download from some other system with internet and then you can copy paste it there okay then in drivers make sure you have you are using all of these drivers these are very important you can pause the video to see which drivers I am using after that you have to go to install and update save to desktop click check and download the latest version right now it's 5093 I updated on 5070 if it is on 5070 it will probably work so no worries about that then you say continue and customize make sure the recommended drivers are downloaded all of these and then in file system you have to download the APFS driver loader if you're using any of these or any one any one of these three then you have to select that one and if you're not using any one of these and you're using OSX OptioFix 2000 DRV then you have to download that from the link in the description below then you have to click install RC script on target volume install clever preferences 
and then you are good to go just hit yes install anyway on Cat if you're on Catalina it will tell you that 32-bit application packages will not be working on macOS Catalina and still lets you download and install it so that's a good thing but it still gives you the warning after that you just say ok and then for those who are on Hackintosh they can restart it or they can still continue the one if they have started previously just select install and continue then after the installation is complete I would recommend you not to press any key until it does what it is doing or until it's stuck somewhere so that's the best way to install remember if you're not using the automatic Mac OS uh, boot up command then I would really recommend you that when you go to the clever configurator you select install Mac OS free booter from pre booter do not select install Mac OS from your main drive okay you first have to select install Mac OS from pre booter and then you have to select Mac OS pre booter from pre booter if there is another option and in the end when all the options are gone then you have to select install Mac OS from your target drive which is OS X in my condition hope you are getting it so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you like it hope you know it. and if you think this video deserves your subscription then don't forget to subscribe and if you still have any question query let me know in the comment section below I'm also available on patreon if you want my personal help I can guide you build your own Hackintosh or a Windows machine for your work so contact me there and I will try my best to respond. Until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.